Hi, welcome to another LeVeb special of Swedish Startup Sessions together with co-host Henriette Weber and we're going to talk to Dave McClure in two seconds. This is Sweden, you ain't packing gas away the hard, you ain't living in the garage. This is Sweden, fly overseas, clear use of G, please believe. This ain't Sweden, witness a massacre, in Middle East to Africa, bitch, you'll be thanking God. This is Sweden, stop lying to all, you ain't struggling at all. This is Sweden, you ain't packing gas, you ain't hard, you ain't living in the garage. This is Sweden, fly overseas, clear use of G, please believe. This ain't Sweden Witness a massacre In Middle East or Africa Bet you be thanking God This, this is the Swedish Startup Sessions Hi, welcome back We're here with Dave McClure On 500 Startups And uh, uh, The second time we put your previous year uh, And um, For the Scandinavian audience Who doesn't really know you uh, at the start of King and I know. <laughs> Please tell me uh, about yourself. I'm more like the court jester. Okay. <laughs> Please tell us about yourself. Uh, sure, I guess I run a small startup fund in uh, Colorado. Uh, we also run an incubator program. Uh, I started out uh, about 20 years ago. I was an engineer programmer in the Valley, uh, in a small consulting startup in the mid 90s. I switched over to the business and marketing side when I went to PayPal. And then uh, PayPal started doing some angel investing. Uh, one thing led to another, and uh, some foolish people gave me some money, so now I'm investing uh, professionally. Uh, and your goal is small seed financing in 500 startups. Uh, well, there's no explicit number. It will probably be at more than 500 in a few more years, but uh, How it's many not really. Know? Uh, a little over 240. Okay. Well, and how is large typical investment? A uh, typical first check that we do is about fifty thousand dollars. Okay. Uh, it can range from as small as ten thousand to as large as two hundred fifty thousand. Okay. Um, uh, basic idea is we'll probably invest. Uh, uh, a little over 100 deals per year. Yeah. Uh, expectations are that probably about uh, five to ten percent of those uh, companies will be successful at larger scale. Uh, and so we, we kind of have the mind that uh, the cost for building startups is lower than ever and for getting customers, but the fail rates are still pretty high. Yeah. So we have a more incremental and hopefully scalable process for uh, selecting and investing in companies. Uh, as they're successful, uh, do you follow on investment first of all? Do you have any specific uh, focus on certain areas of the industry? Well, the pretty broad focus around uh, consumer and small businesses. We do some of the questions about mostly the consumer and small businesses. Uh, we do a lot in uh, electronic commerce areas, we do a lot in uh, subscription, productivity tools, and marketing tools for uh, the other small businesses. We do a fair amount in uh, financial services and payments. And then uh, we're starting to focus more now on consumer education for uh, kids and family, uh, particularly family, uh, parents, female, sort of consumer targets, uh, usually about kids zero to seven. So have you been looking in particular towards some startups in Scandinavia, or what is your view on that market? Uh, I haven't particularly been looking at that market, but not averse to looking at that market. Um, I guess typically with smaller population countries, we don't mind the talent. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, there's plenty of talent all over the world. It's a little bit tougher to go after yeah. domestic market investments in those countries. So okay. we'd probably be, for, for countries with populations much smaller than 50 million, unless they're really high GDP or something, we'd probably be looking for them to be more global in focus. Okay. Uh, but certainly there's uh, definitely talent all over the place. And what would you think was, if we have no that there aren't that many Canadian startups in that way, what do you think is the I don't know. European here. Uh, well, I think at least for Europe, this is uh, a pretty significant event where there's a lot of startups and investors coming in the same direction. Yeah. Uh, and so for networking purposes, it's a useful you know, meeting area. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Well, you know, in the U.S., we have a good number of folks who are invested in the U.S. government. We also deal with... Yeah, so you invest in a Scandinavian company with the U.S. Yeah. And, and what, what would that Sorry, be? I was just talking to Peter Beckerbacher in Moscow. Okay, yeah. Definitely a huge company. Yeah, yeah. But, but uh, what, what would uh, that company need to bring to you to get you interested in the FDA? Talented team, talented yeah. team, and uh, you know, interesting customer segments and problems that we have. Hopefully, relatively simple. Yeah. And how far do you prefer that company to? Usually we like to see companies that have a basic function. So yeah. We have to be uh, not far advanced, but at least to show that they can produce the product. Yeah. Uh, like to have some amount of usage and revenue with that possible. And what do you think is the key uh, uh, point? Uh, passion and focus on a particular customer segment. Uh, in terms of the team, usually some amount of technical founder and yeah. probably someone on the design and the ability side, and uh, someone with uh, customer acquisition. You said earlier when you were speaking from the monitor uh, that the uh, U.S. investment becoming quite uh, overvalued, or the U.S. companies are Somewhat. Yeah. Yeah. We have seen in Scandinavia actually that, that American investors are starting to come uh, and invest in companies in Europe to, to uh, do something that will be a trend that will go after companies who have a lower valuation in the market. Um, I think where there's lower valuations, that's certainly interesting for the investor side, but I think we're focusing. <laughs> so I think we're, you know, lower valuations are somewhat interesting, but really focusing more on finding great companies. Yeah. Valuations can't be crazy, but we don't go to reason specifically because of lower valuations because we just don't find Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.